Hey guys, welcome back. It's Red Yu, and this is another episode of Eratas. And today we're going to be covering the Banshee. Now, if you haven't seen the um, Bride of Icarus video that I posted before this, um, I'm going to be running a non wrath dread build. And if that doesn't make sense, yeah, go and watch the Bride video because basically. Um, I won't be using any wrath in my build because of the way I've set it uh, erratus up. And if you don't know how that is, uh, go and have a look at that video before, and then come back. It's not very long. It won't take you long. I explain everything there. I, I don't want to explain it again. Uh, because I just want to talk about the Banshee. And she's a pretty cool customer, to be honest. She's got it all. The only thing, the only thing she doesn't have is physical attacks. But from uh she has a little bit of magic damage but generally all of her stuff's are buffs um awesome mana restore uh a stance which you know but there and a stress attack so uh stress damage or a dread damage is is pretty good it's quite high it's 26 to 28 i haven't put any equipment in there yet because i wanted you to see what the stock values were and initiative is quite high um she's got a ward on her from something where did the ward come from i don't know oh from there it's from there um and uh she's She's pretty squishy, but she generally sits around the third slot uh, between the three and four. She does have, if she gets pulled to the front, she does have an ability that allows her to move back three, which is awesome. Yes, it is. Okay, so let's run through these um, abilities then. So on the first one, we've got a uh, stress you attack deals. Ah, thank you. Uh, on the first one, we have a stress attack that deals 75%, 20 to 21 damage, which is pretty good, and it moves um, a target to a random position. It also has one physical and one dread attached to it. And uh, the buff, or the, the tree, or the branch, I guess, uh, not only moves a target to a random position, but it also removes all buffs from the target. So it's pretty good debuffer. And it kind of messes stuff around. But that moves the target to a random position. Not so good. But the only thing I don't... We won't use this that much. Because the only bad thing about it. It does move her forward one. And she's got better stuff to cast basically. Um, on the second line we have... No! And it's a stance which we very rarely use. Whenever an enemy moves the Banshee deals 60% damage. I mean why would it do that? If you've got... I, I don't see a lot of characters moving around that much, so I don't know. I don't use it. But um, a branch, uh, it ignores ward and it gives her one physical and another one dread, which is great. As you can see, she got no physical damage at all whatsoever, so the physical stuff is of no purpose at all whatsoever. Um, on the third line, she has an absorb fear, and this restores the target to full sanity and it gives Iteras all the mana equal to 20% of the restored sanity. So it's pretty good at restoring your mana and I'd love her for that. It's 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 really super super handy. Uh, what you need to do is use it kind of use it mid to late game on a character that's you know on the last character for instance and after you've beaten down his sanity just hit him and then physically kill him or or restress him all over again and keep on doing that as long as it's not a character that's doing a massive amount of damage to you but generally you want to get rid of those characters first and just end up with you know something squishy um, and then pop that on him and then restore a massive amount of, of of mana to you i will be doing a playthrough after i've done um, I've done the Bride, I will be doing a video after I've done the Headhunter and the Mummy and I will be having a playthrough so you can see how this stress build actually works and it works quite well in 90% cases. Um, and then from a branch then, that, uh, that Sanity, if it go to the left, it restores mana equal to 25% so it's an extra 5% and it gives her a ward a plus one ward and that plus one ward is a magical ward and any time she deals as she gets dealt magic damage it will negate all of it on the fourth line we have a buff and it's a plus six dread 
um, to all minions on their next action. And a branch, it says all minions gain plus 8 dread for the next action, which is awesome. And because all of our characters are dread, dread characters. And um, it gives another plus 2 hunt to a dread as well. And this is why your dread is particularly high. I mean, if you have a look at the banshee, which is good, it's 28 to 30. Uh, sorry, the bride's 20 to 30 years, is 26 to 28. Um, you chuck a buff on top of that, and I am put items on her yet either, so she gets three dread from there as well. I mean, the the bright. If you have a look at the bride, look, she's got loads of purple items stacked on her. So the banshee is the best stock without having those purple items. Once I put the purple items on her, I mean, she gets three dread from that. I thought she had more than that. Ah, okay, never mind. Uh, but uh, but yeah, so that's a pretty decent buff, and you get two dread after that as well. And then on the on the fifth line, on the fifth line, yeah, um, she's got a stress attack that deals thirty percent damage to all the enemy. Um, the enemy also lose four physical attack for the next action. This is pretty good. This is what we will be spamming quite a bit of. Um, this and this and a mana restore. Generally, the three will be using quite a lot. She does have, um, uh, I forget what it's called now. She does have a physical, a, a, a top attack. I forgot what it's called. Uh, it'll come to me in a minute. But we won't be using it that much because this build is catered towards Eratus Wrath. <laughs> she she has a Wrath um, ability. Uh, costing 40 points, but we won't be using it. it it's a magic attack. We might use it in circum certain circumstances because there are um, enemy out there that take magic attack that don't have any wrath really. So it might be useful later, but at the minute, uh, not because we won't be using any wrath. And the reasons for that are covered in the Bride of uh, Iteris video, Irata's video. And on this magic attack, it is 100%. Three to four damage. This is it. See, the magic attacks uh, draw the power from physical. So, I mean, three to four damage isn't going to do anything. Um, go to the right, it gives you plus six evade, and it also gives the target 50% chance to skip the next turn. But the good thing about this, if you're in a bit of a pickle and you see something is in a stance and you know it's going to hurt, it does actually interrupt stances as well. So, just remember that because it is quite useful. At uh, the bride, does have um, a stance interrupt as well so you've basically in this build now you've basically got two characters that can interrupt stances um, and if you don't know what stances are generally they kind of buff up um, an enemy character so that this next shot is kind of like 100% two, two times damage and they're quite nasty on like sniper guys and all that kind of stuff so anything that you can interrupt interrupt the stance um, but you'll see more of that when I go through my playthrough and for her utility, I've given her a soul gem, which is plus three dread. Um, and these are grey, obviously, they're just common stuff. And I've given her um, a sash, which gives her plus two initiative, which is taking over that magic eight number that I keep talking about. Taking her up to nine, which is great. Um, and what I'll do now is I'll work on making her have all purple items, and she should be pretty powerful. It should be pretty good. Once I give her purple items, it should be pretty awesome. Okay, so I think that is that. Uh, I don't think I've got anything else on here. And you can see your physicals are not so good. Um, your dread is okay. 95% chance to hit. 26% chance to evade, which is pretty awesome. 8% uh, chance to crit. No armor. No magical armor. Uh, no blocks. One ward and nine um, uh, initiative. Okay, so that's it. So thanks for watching. I shall see you on the next build, which is probably going to be the mummy, because I think the mummy is going to get to level 7 next. And then I'll do the head hunter, which is one of my favorite characters. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and then you can see um, when I post these videos up. And I'll see you soon. Ta-ra, boys.